The newest treatment for clinical depression isn't a drug or a type of psychotherapy. It's a medical device that looks like a high-tech hair dryer. And we're going to start on three, two, one. How's it doing? Fine. This treatment is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS for short. Every 20 seconds, this device generates magnetic pulses to the part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. That's the part of the brain that regulates mood. The magnetic pulses are the same type generated by MRI machines. In TMS, the pulses create small electrical currents, which stimulate the release of mood-lifting chemicals in the brain. Patient Jay Martin says the treatments have been a godsend. There's been a significant change in my whole outlook, both on life and, my, and just my general well-being. So I know it's been a, a, a big difference from where I was. Martin has struggled with depression for decades. He tried counseling, numerous antidepressants, and even shock therapy, but nothing seemed to work for long. Martin says he felt like he was walking around in a black cloud. I mean, it was just like you don't enjoy the normal things you would think. And it'd been like, you know, 10 years since I'd smiled or laughed. The FDA approved TMS for the treatment of medication-resistant depression in 2008. Since then, studies have shown some long-term benefits of the therapy. One study found 45% of patients had full relief from their depression at one year follow-up. TMS can cause headaches and muscle twitches. It can also cause a seizure, although the risk is quite low. Doctors at UC San Diego are using the newest generation of TMS machines, called Deep TMS. Psychiatrist David Feifel says the device sends magnetic pulses deeper into the brain. The benefit of that, we believe, is that we're able to activate uh, areas that are firing abnormally that uh, are not reachable with the conventional TMS device, allowing us to, uh, to, to produce a more robust change in the brain and ultimately to, to, to produce uh, a, a, a greater um, effectiveness. But this high-tech therapy comes at a high cost. A standard seven-week course of TMS treatments costs around $15,000. At first, patients are required to come in for a session five days a week. After about 30 days, the treatments are tapered off. Some, but not all, insurance plans cover TMS. Those that do require patients to try a number of other options first. We use fitness in here. We have fitness classes which are individual. The cost of care isn't an issue for patients at the True Life Center for Well-Being in La Jolla. Here, patients undergo intensive treatments for addiction and mental health issues. These include counseling, drug therapy, and acupuncture. Executive Director Krista Royball refers patients with severe depression to TMS. She says TMS isn't for everyone. This is for a very select group who has been um, through usually more than one psychiatrist, sometimes up to you know three and above, and usually multiple medication trials. Major depression extracts a heavy toll. It affects some 14.8 million Americans, and it's the leading cause of disability. The use of TMS for clinical depression is growing in popularity as more psychiatrists add it to their arsenal. Whether TMS will make a big dent in the problem nationwide remains to be seen. But for Jay Martin, it's made all the difference in the world. And I feel like even if the uh, uh, insurance company refuses to cover anything, it was worth the expense just to be able to feel this much better. Kenny Goldberg. KPBS News.